So imagine you're at a farmer's market, right, and trying to buy fresh ingredients for a delicious recipe. So as you gather your produce, you realize that you need to ensure the quality of each item. So if any item does not meet your standards, what do you do? Well, you want to be able to return all your purchases and start again. So in the world of databases, this scenario mirrors the importance of transactions and asset properties in maintaining data integrity. So let's dive right in and take a look at what asset is all about. All right, before we do, let's talk about what a transaction is. So the transaction in the context of databases refers to a sequence of one or more SQL operations. And we've been working with it, such as insert statement, update statement, or delete statements that are executed as a single unit of work. Now this ensures that either all of the operations in the transaction are successful or successfully or none of them are, right? So transactions provide a level of consistency and reliability in managing the state of database. So at its core, basically a transaction is simply a logical unit of work, which consists of one or more queries like update, insert. All right, the lifespan of the transaction. So typically follows a specific lifespan, which includes some key stages. Well, these are transaction begin as the first one with this particular transaction begins with the initiation of a transaction context. Now this step marks the starting point of a transaction and sets the boundaries for the subsequent queries to be included in the transaction. The transaction commit, for example, now once all the necessary queries have been executed successfully within the transaction, a commit operation is performed. Now this step finalizes the transaction and makes all the changes made within the transaction permanent, ensuring data consistency. Next, we have the transaction rollback. Now, in the event of an error or any unexpected condition within the transaction, a rollback operation is invoked. This action undoes all the changes made with the transaction, reverting the database to its previous state before the transaction began. This ensures data integrity and restores consistency. Now, it's important to note that if a transaction ends unexpectedly, such as due to a system crash or failure, the default behavior is to automatically initiate a rollback operation. Now, this safeguards the data from being left in an inconsistent or incomplete state. All right, let's dive into ACID, the atomicity consistency, isolation, and durability, right? That's what ACID stands for. Now, these properties collectively ensure the reliability and integrity of transactions, even in the face of system failures or errors. So let's dive deeper into each of these property. First, the atomicity, right? Think of this transaction like baking a cake, right? Now, this means that either the whole cake gets baked or nothing at all. So if something goes wrong while baking, like you run out of sugar, you don't end up with half a cake. You start over from the beginning, keeping things neat and complete. And this is what Atomicity is all about. Then you have consistency. So imagine you're building a Lego structure, for example. Now consistency ensures that every piece you add fits together correctly and follows the instructions. So if a piece does not fit right, you take it out and then make sure your Lego creation always looks and works the way it's supposed to be. This is what consistency is all about. Then you have isolation. So picture, uh, think of this as you're playing with your toys in your room, right? And your friend is playing in their room. So isolation means you both can play with your toys separately without bothering each other. Similarly, in a database, Isolation ensures that when multiple people are making changes at the same time, their changes do not interfere with each other until they're done. That's you know within the context of a database. And then finally, we have the durability. So think of this as writing a message in pen on a piece of paper. Once the ink dries, the message stays there even if you accidentally spill something on it, right? So durability in databases is like just like that. Once a change is made and confirmed, it's stored securely and would not disappear even if the computer crashes. All right, so how do you manage these transactions in MySQL? I'm gonna demonstrate later on as well. 
But first, the concepts are foundational to understanding how transactions work in databases and how data integrity is maintained. Well, first we have the commit. Now committing in a database is confirming that the changes you've made in a transaction are final and should be saved permanently. So it's like saying, yes, I'm happy with these changes and I want to be a part of the official record. Then we have rollback. So rollback simply means undoing the changes you've made in a transaction if something goes wrong or if you decide you don't want to proceed with those changes. It's like hitting the undo button to erase all the steps you've taken since the last point where things were good. Then you have the save point. A save point is just like a marking a spot in your transaction where everything is still correct and consistent. So for example, if things start to go wrong later on, you can return to this save point to start again from a known good state rather than starting from scratch. And then you have the auto commit mode. Now, remember, by default, MySQL operates in auto commit mode, which means each statement is treated as a separate transaction. This can lead to the insert operation being committed before you issue a rollback. Now, to prevent this, you need to turn off the auto commit, which you can do, do so. All right, finally, in conclusion, so databases in the world of databases, for example, transactions and asset properties, they act like protectors of data reliability and data integrity, right? So transactions make sure that you work smoothly, your work is fine, the database is functioning smoothly, and you're querying the database effectively. Now, with this know-how, you can confidently handle databases, making sure that things go well. Now, with transactions and asset, your data stays fresh and ready for everyday use. I hope this helps. Let me next, in the next lesson, I'm gonna demonstrate these asset properties so you can see how the rollback and the commit works within a database.